All right, amongst all of the Diddy cheese going on, let me run it back. Amongst all the Diddy cheese going on right now, this is the last position you want to get caught in. If you're any sort of fat, famous person, athlete, rapper, actor, you know what I mean? Jonathan Majors, <clears throat> a type nigga, any of these type niggas where you have any cachet, bro. If I was rich and famous, the last thing I'll be doing is partying and fucking around with the, with the little uh, scallywags and thoughts and concubines because at the end of the day, Especially if you're famous, someone got a video camera and they're going to pull it out and they're going to get you in trouble. So this dude. Oh, Zach Eady. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Zach Eady was kicking it with an eater at a party. Apparently it was a college party. Young, young bulls doing college things and shit like that. And that's cool, but you know, somebody was recording. And this is the video. We'll go ahead and play the video. But before I do, go ahead and hit all the YouTube buttons. It's going to be a short one. But hit all the YouTube buttons. And show some love, man. Let's get a video. So you see the Slim Reaper talking to a little Becky, trying to slide, uh, you know, slide on the under. And it's fun. I don't know if this went viral because. Fuck. Oh, my controller's vibrating. That shit was making hella noise. Pause. Um. No Diddy for vibrating? Mm, I might be doing too much. But anyways, the Slim Reaper is talking to this young lady. Just a basic Becky at a party. But I mean, I don't know if he's trying to get his rock off, rocks off, take it to a freak off in the back room. Or if he was just trying to help her, uh, you know, unlock the door because he's a little stronger than she is. Maybe her hands were full. Maybe he was trying to help her open the pickle jar. I don't know. But here's my thing, though. Everybody is recording. So the last place I'd want to be is where I could be recorded by cameras that are not paying me to be recorded i don't know why this video is going viral i mean i know why because of speculation and you know how people are bro you know how people's minds are but um i mean is it a is it a bad move is yeah l man's for wanting to get his rocks off or or uh you know going in the room and blah 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 i don't think he's an l man's but one thing i can say for sure is that this leaves the door open for a girl to say, hey, he did this, he did that. Because one thing that I know for certain that we've seen oh, time and time again is this. We've seen girls get caught up for allowing a bunch of people to backshot, dig, pull, pull out creams, punch in BBC. And when they get caught up, they go ahead and start saying, hey, he did this, he did that. Uh, it was criminal. It was not, uh, I did not consent take him to jail, right? Then she obviously gets proven that she's lying and no charges fall on her. But hey, I just did four or five years in prison. Sean Oakman, for example, the Central Park Six or Central Park Five, uh, you know, just a bunch of, there's so many scenarios where we've seen this type of situation go wrong. And the fact that we don't know what happened on the other side of the door, luckily we don't know who the girl is because her identity was exposed. I mean, shit, she might say anything. But, um, you know, we don't know what happened behind closed doors. If I had a guess, it looks like she was down because clearly he's he's opening the door. He, he's not he's not forcing her to do anything crazy from what it looks like. He's in his ear like, hurry up, open the door so you can back shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it seems as though everybody is down for what's about to go down. But let me see what the comments are saying because we love the comments so, so much. Let's go ahead and look. Person recording is a real weirdo. Okay, so people's heads are screwed on correctly. This guy is too damn big for normal houses. That's the thought. I was like, man, this dude had a duck. Walk in like a fucking big man. Like that British, that British monster dude. Bro, like, look at his, bro. He, I'm, that one thing that's funny about athletes, because before you become, you know, a millionaire and all that, bro, you're going to have to wear, like, coakley shoes, coakley, co like, shit that fits your size. You're going to look a little crazy. Because I'm like, bro. He, he's probably like a size 15 or 16, bro. Who knows what kind of shoes he got to wear in that size. Oh, he bounced underneath. Look at Shorty in the bag. Why are they all like, oh my God. Is she really about to let him back shot? I wanted to get back shot. Look, she pulled up in this little... Man, white girls are hilarious. Oh yeah, they screenshotted it. People with Kenya ever have privacy. Dude been in the final four for nine minutes and already trying to Trevor Bauer this man. Lord help us. Oh, y'all already trying to Trevor Bauer this man. Who's Trevor Bauer? What did I miss?
Uh, did he have allegations? Uh, so he got accused. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's tough. Not gonna lie, but this video came in, would may come in handy in 20 or 30 years if she says, well, you know, I, it, I'm saying though. Who cares? He's in college. Let him enjoy his life. No. Gotta be careful. You're literally a asset to a company. You're an asset to the NCAA. You're an asset to the NBA if you get drafted. Zach Eady is nice. Um, here's what I will say. All right. There's a reason why all of these cases pop up years later is because the federal government does such a thorough job investigating things that they're usually a little bit behind when it comes on when it comes to, you know, doing a bunch of cases decade decade by decade. Like we started with the seventies, eighties, right? With you got Co Pill Cosby, uh, you got fucking the Hollywood industry with um what's his fucking name? You got the Hollywood industry with uh fucking what's his name? Uh why am I drawing a blank on the nigga's name? What's his name? Henry what? No. Bro, oh Weinstein. So you had the Weinstein shit. Now you get into the nineties with the R and B dudes, everybody's getting rolled up. You got Diddy getting rolled up. Now you got uh people trying to come for Jay Z because of the Foxy Brown shit. Then you got fucking uh what's his name? Uh Russell Simmons in Bali, motherfucking chilling with Usher and shit. And trying to get some freak offs popping out there because there's no extradition out there. So I mean shit, bro. This a video like this, if I was him. I hope that he sees this and saves this to his hard drive, to his phone, whatever, and never lets it leave. Because I feel as though one day when dude makes it to the league, we may see this pop back up again. And if it does, best believe I'm making a video about it. But with that being said, appreciate everybody that tuned in. Go ahead and hit all the YouTube buttons. Leave a like. Leave your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that what went down was 100% authentic? And do you think that we'll hear from this girl again? Should her identity leak? Because if her identity leaks, she's going to give a statement. And the statement is going to be... It's gonna. It's not gonna be. Hey, I let him back shot. The statement is gonna be, uh, blah blah blah. We were drunk and this and that. Leading on to like to get because to give herself room to not have to be culpable for being you know a little thought concubine whatever scallywag whatever you wanna call it. So that being said, man, I'll see you on the next video. I'm gone.